Hey soul family, welcome back to the channel. This is the White Feather Tarot and in today's reading we're taking a look at a message from time to you about a wish, a transformation and a relief. And to do this reading, we will be picking three piles together. If you prefer to pick your piles using your zodiac signs, you will find a timestamp to that down in the description box, which will take you straight to the part of the introduction where you can pick your piles using your zodiac signs. Right, so let's find out what is your time's message to you about a wish, a transformation, and a relief right so let's reveal your cards for pile number one you have prophecy for pile number two you have the perfect sandwich and for pile number three you have mischief if you prefer to pick your piles using your crystals, then let me add these right now. There we go. So for pile number one, you have the sodalite. For pile number two, you have the mukite jasper. And for pile number three, you have the Amazonite. So take a look at which one of these three piles or three crystals you're the most drawn to. And this or these will be the piles for you here today. If you feel drawn to more than one pile, maybe even all of the piles, of course, feel free to check them out as well. And once you're ready, you'll find the timestamps down in the description box. Click on your times and I will see you in your readings. In a moment, I am about to assign different zodiac signs to each pile. And so if this is something that you do not prefer, please pause the video, take as much time as you need. And as mentioned, I will see you in your readings. But if you prefer to pick your piles using your zodiac signs, then my dear soul family, this part of the introduction was created specifically for you guys. What I like to do is shuffle your zodiac signs really well. And then I'll be drawing out four zodiac signs for each pile. Okay, let's go one more time. There we go. Let's pull out the first four zodiac signs. One, two, three, and four. So the signs are Libra, Capricorn, Scorpio, and Taurus. The signs for pile number two are Aquarius, Virgo, Sagittarius, and Pisces. As for pile number three, the signs are Aries, Gemini, Cancer, and Leo. So, my dear soul family, these are the zodiac signs and their association to each of the piles in today's reading. Please feel free to pick your piles using your sun, moon, or rising. I highly recommend you check out the three. Um, but if you would like to pick your piles using another placement in your chart, I highly recommend uh, you do so if this is your preferred method. And once you're ready, uh, you'll find the timestamps down in the description box. 
click on your times and I will see you in your readings. Hi, pile number one. Welcome to your reading. Today we're taking a look at a message from time to you uh, about a wish, a transformation, and a relief. We'll be creating a role for each one of these three questions, or uh, rather messages from time about these three specific topics. And these are the oracle cards and the decks that we will be using in today's reading. So your crystal is the beautiful um, soda light. Your card is the prophecy card, which will be your significator read it, um, card throughout the reading. And if you've picked your pile using your zodiac signs, then in that case, the signs for this pile are Libra, Capricorn, Scorpio, and Taurus. Welcome to your reading. Uh, if these are not your zodiac signs, please don't worry about it. It's just another way for others to pick their piles as well. They are, of course, not the official zodiac signs of the pile. All right, so let's get straight into it. The cards are all now shuffled. And let's begin with the first question. And that is, or the first part of the reading, which is your uh, time's message to you about a wish. Okay, so let's see what time's message is to you about a wish work occupation okay very clear it seems like it's a wish pertaining to your career your work or something that you are working hard towards even if you're working so yeah something you're working hard towards your work your career the queen wow okay so nice you have earth whoa i think i'm starting to grasp what this is this is really cool <laughs> maybe you are too okay so nice to see for you guys one last card an uh, oracle card i mean oh it looks like this one's moving i'm gonna take that one dolphin wow okay let's take a look at your tarot cards so you have the five of cups The Nine of Cups. It looks like they're in the same island, but now in a different position. The cups ha uh, were dropped here, but now they have been built up really well. And it looks like this figure is now happy and satisfied. It's the same figure. Uh, and in a different position, perhaps this is what it is about, which is what I initially thought of. But let's see. You have the Ace of Wands. The Knight of Swords. You have the Hierophant. Hmm. Okay, so the Hierophant, of course, uh, confirms it. And, right, King of Cups. I can't help but feel, you know, the Hierophant is very uh, much respected is in an official grand position that everyone looks up to and respects also a leader uh the hierophant and the king of cups also a leading position the queen so you've got a lot of cards showing that in your work or occupation it seems like you are going to be soon in a very high respectful reputable position uh, also the earth is gaia mother gaia it's abundance right so it looks like you're going to be abundant now very soon you're you can see here you're sowing you're reaping what you saw so you obviously worked hard you wished you would get um, the rewards for your hard work so here your significator card is the prophecy which really shows that this is written for you to happen, this 
uh, grand position and grand blessings. And you can see here that you're moving from great disappointment. And although you worked really hard, it seems like something was dropped or you felt like uh, it, uh, like things didn't go the right way, right in front of your eyes and you were really crying over it going, but why, I don't deserve this. Why, why, why would this happen? I worked so hard. But you can see the table full of blessings right behind her. Maybe it's things that can go right that she did not notice. In all cases, you can see that things are going to work out for you in such a grand way in the area of your work and your occupation. It's, it, the cards are so clear. You're going to be very abundant. Also, the dolphin and the king of cups shows that you're going to enjoy it. You're going to feel so connected to it. Uh, you're going to love what you're what you're about to get into with the ace of wands ace of wands is a new passionate beginning i feel like you're going to be looking up to working every day with this new reality in your work you know uh, you will love what you're going to about to do also your work involves a lot of creativity maybe art but at the same time a lot of intellect as well like information uh, and Nine of Cups shows that you're going to be fulfilled and satisfied in, in especially two areas. The area of abundance, obviously, and reaping what you've sown and being able to enjoy the results of your work. But also, you will be enjoying the fact that you're doing something that you really love, the creativity behind it, the art uh, you unleashing your creative source, being able to do what you want and the way that you enjoy it. I've heard uh, this recently. Where did I hear? One of the readings, maybe. But uh, uh, that's exactly what I'm seeing here. You being able to do uh, what you love and the way that you love it. Uh, nothing can stand in your way. In fact, Knight of Swords reminds me of a line straight upwards. Uh, like, only growth from here. Straight up growth from here. Uh, also, the Hierophant, and this Hierophant specifically, represents peace. Finding peace of mind. Tranquility. Being able to do things at peace. Maybe this is talking about not having to worry about things like uh, office political dynamics or toxicity at work or stress from money, stress from work. Uh, the awesome thing about this next part of your work, perhaps the big position that you have will allow you, and uh, you're being represented by the King of Cups, me, which means that you are a peaceful, loving person. And so you get to set the rules. And it shows me that you will be setting the rules in such a peaceful way to yourself and to the environment maybe as well. Like you're going to be doing things the right way. Sometimes even if you're not doing something for the environment, if you are working so peacefully, doing like doing good things for yourself without harming others and vibrating high, you are without knowing really being a great healer to the planet. Okay, so there is a prophecy here about uh, your next stage at work. This is obviously a wish because that was what the row was, uh, row was about. It was about time's message with regards to a wish. And speaking of time, I'm going to be a bit bold and actually um, give you an exact time. <laughs> scary but I'm just gonna follow uh, oh let me clean this and I'll be back okay so let's see how that works right so five plus nine plus one we'll do a bit of numerology uh, one yeah we did one night is 12 plus Hierophant 5, and King is 14, 46, 46 could be, oh my god guys, if you're watching this now, I would be crazy to tell you and take the risk 
to just follow my intuition and let you know that maybe something today, right? It's the 6th of April today. Maybe something um, could happen today. You might be hearing good news. Also, I just noticed I got a notification as we were doing this right now, looking at the number. Something better is coming. Did you guys catch that? Crazy. <laughs> so cool. Um, I was, I just, I paused because I was thinking uh, maybe this is also the 4th of June. So maybe the timing here is 4th of June as well. It's something I've been contemplating for a few uh, moments here. Um, another thing I just thought about, 6 plus 4, if we're going to do it numerologically, is 10, right? So maybe also look out, since we're uh, doing a reading about time, also look out for the month. Of October so keep these dates in mind it, it could either be today it could be on the 4th of June and it could ultimately be on uh, in October all right so let's continue with our reading I'm just being super bold today with timing because it is a message about time I feel more like comfortable um, d doing it very specific. I usually tell you guys, you know, take timing with a grain of salt, but this is message from time. And that's why I feel very com comfortable sh being specific. Okay, so your second message about uh, from time is about a transformation. Let's find out what that is. You have gaining a lot of money. Whoa, so cool, guys. <laughs> that's like winning the lottery. Uh, or literally uh, a game of poker. Anyways, it's like getting a lot of money. It's a prophecy here, as you can see, something that it's your significator card, right? Your uh, time wants to let you know that some things are fated for you. And a lot of money is one of them. You did have the earth here being super abundant. So let's see, there's a transformation going in your life. It seems like well, at least for now, and from the first card, it seems like it's in the area of wealth. The air. Some of you may be getting some money passed down to you, but not necessarily. Look, the queen, the air. It could be a position being given to you that will result in a lot of money. So somehow these two are very connected for you. But in all cases, there is money, as you can see, being given to you. Uh, either through family or through a position being given to you at work. Right. You also have ecosystem. Mm, okay, I'll get we'll get to it in a moment. You have lion. Wow. Okay, let's take a look at your predestined tarot cards. These came out <laughs> from the very beginning. Wow, six of pentacles is a card of generosity. You can see that someone is passing down some money to you. It's unbelievable, right? Okay, so cool. You have the ace of swords let's go again all right thanks the queen of wands the magician oh yeah we go the five of swords and finally the queen of cups it's so cool how the first reading is ending has ended with the king of cups second now is ending with its counterpart the queen of cups almost feels really like it's part of a family for some of you of course 
These could, this could also be talking about, believe it or not, ancestors passing on uh, some form of wealth and resources to help you with the ecosystem, especially the lion. I get a strong feeling like your family lineage is very concerned about uh, healing a specific part of the world or healing humanity or something very specific like a lineage that has always been teachers or a lineage that's always cared about the natural resources and the planet and the animals a lineage that cares about healing human beings and so on a lineage of witches right so it makes me feel there is like the pass down of one lineage to another of a gift and in this lifetime it seems like wealth will be the greatest tool to help you um, heal something in the ecosystem or heal something that means a lot to you and you're being passed down this uh, wealth and it may sound crazy but it's really true um, to help you in your endeavor of being able to use your magic, you see the wands here, to use your magic to do things in the right way. You can see with the five of swords here, you single-handedly being able to do things the right way, perhaps ruining it for others, disappointing others who were trying to mess it up for everyone maybe. So very crazy thought, but that's an initial thought that I have. If it's not passed down through family, this is you gaining a new position. And that's been like very consistent in your reading. I mean, it can't be a coincidence at this point. You're going to be soon in a very good position with very good wealth. Money will come so easily to you. And you will be using this money to heal something in your territory so territory i would see i, I would think territory would be your fi line of work your field something that you're protective of and you care so much about uh, uh, somewhere where you shine bright uh, the lion the queen of wands somewhere where you are the king you know and this is why the odds will stack up for you and that's where you'll finally hold the power uh, with this position, along with these resources, to be able to use your magic or use your skills to rectify something that's not going right. And you are going to do it in such a clever way, such a, how can I say this, such a skilled way, almost with the magician makes me feel like you're almost going to be maybe even the only one who has that secret sauce, who has that, what do they call it, shazam, that shizzle, I, I can't remember the word, <laughs> but you will have that secret sauce to make it work so well. Wow, the wind was blowing right at that moment, I was shocked, <laughs> oh my god, that you will have other people in that same territory absolutely shocked and disappointed that you were able to make it flow like that and you with the queen of cups will be able to lovingly hand that gift down to the next generations uh, to make use of that lovely work that you will be making that is your message from time you can see the timeline of how this is going to work out um let's take a look at the beginning of this timeline because time has showed us a lot moving forward let's ask time about the timeline of this great wealth and oh my god i did the numerology there four and three is seven eleven seven eleven uh, instantly stood out to me because we hear it of course a lot seven eleven I was going to do more numerology, but then I said, wait, this sounds so familiar, of course, with the 7-Elevens. So maybe somewhere around July, perhaps 7-Eleven, something around July, beginning of July uh, is where you're going to start reaping, amassing 
a lot of wealth. Wow, no wonder you got the prophecy card, <laughs> my dear pal number one. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so let's now move on to the third message from time, which is about a relief. So you have rich girl guys, the work and the money is following this, uh, following you in this reading. It's like time is so focused on this message today for you. So you've got rich girl and you have the champion. Wow. Uh, time really thinks highly of you. You can see. <laughs> so rich girl, the champion. Niche. Oh, okay. And wow. You've got the black egg, which is a spiritual category in this deck, a special, like a special category. And let's take a look at your tarot cards. So you have the page of wands. The justice card. You've got the Three of Pentacles. The Hermit. Can you guys see that? The Six of Swords. And finally, you have the Seven of Swords. So, what is your message from time about relief? With Niche, I feel like time here is being very specific about something. Speaking about something super in such a super specific way. I'm not sure. Let me think about it. Let me also check the black egg. I forgot. Did I read it, this, of course, a long time ago. Black egg. Speaking from an authentic voice, the truth. The black egg contains one of life's essential treasures, the truth. Inside of it resides no confusion, excuses, small talk, noise or lies not even white ones. This living and breathing vessel harbors only that which rings true. When this essence is in balance, we speak slowly and clearly. We are drawn to activities like writing, reading, teaching, singing, or perhaps public speaking. Sounds draw us in, books draw us in, the concept of truth itself draw, draws us in. We start asking questions like, what do I know to be true about myself? And what is the true, true, what is true about the world? When the energy of the black egg is not yet uh, accessed, we speak from an unsure place. We say things others want to hear, gossip, or repeat stories to justify our subpar behavior. We might, we might even, so interesting, you might, we might even, try to convince ourselves that we have no inner truth at all. The energy of the black egg hover, ho hovers, hovers, I think. This what it, ho hovers, I think it's how it's pronounced. Hovers and waits for us to reconnect. It is available at every moment, in every situation. It's the epicenter of truth, the birth of our voice. This must be about finding power or something. Then I'm confused. Why do you have rich girl? <gasps> rich, you know, doesn't always have to be money. You could be rich in what you want. Not that it doesn't emphasize, obviously, you know, the line, the prophecy that we have been seeing here that you will be 
Um, and look at the swords all going down. Oh my God. Well, that one doesn't have a sword, but it does look like it. It's crazy. I feel like something is being passed down to you. Wealth, position, and personal power. Like your ancestors or your guides are really focused to help you heal your voice. And this is niche. This part is very specific. Time wants to let you know that your guides... I want to say something crazy, but please forgive me. Please forgive me. It looks like your ancestors are represented by flying beings. Like maybe freedom. Come from the essence of freedom. <gasps> Free your voice. Okay, okay. Forget what I just said. So, or maybe your ancestors are free-spirited. And they're greatly assisting you to free your voice, free your truth. To be your true authentic self is really what I'm picking up here. And so time wants to let you know that you will free your throat chakra. Because with the Three of Pentacles and the Justice card, I feel like there's more working on your voice than just you. <laughs> I feel like there's a whole team, cosmic team even, watching your progress, watching, you know, anal analyzing the situation with you, looking at where to help you heal. Like you've got a whole team, believe me, pile number one. A whole team, as you are hermiting here, trying to, thinking you're doing it all on your own, you, you're being watched over and being greatly assisted by the universe and your team to make sure you do free your voice. It's an egg. It's bound to crack. And life will pop open and fly off at some point. You have the champion, which means you're going to be winning over this, freeing your voice. So what does time want to tell you with that? Look at that library. Oh my God, you might think this is crazy, but <laughs> look at the six of swords and the seven of swords. It's a transition that you're not making alone. You obviously have a team there. And seven of swords is an energy of like, almost sneaking stealing and look at that library it makes me feel like giving off information from a cosmic library like they are giving you the secret sauce like they are giving you lovingly powerful information that cannot in any way shape or form be of be uh, um of anything but help to crack that egg open. That information that you're being given, even listening to it will change who you are. They're giving you bit by bit doses of information that will make this egg crack open and your truth will come out. And you will be fulfilled with rich girl here by having what you want, which is you. You being fulfilled within yourself. It is that type of richness that nobody can take from you. And that is your voice. And so, since this is a message about time, let's take a look one more time, once more, at the numerology. Be bold and see what time this is to be. So you've got page of wands, that's 11. And you've got 11, 11. Ooh, I think I'm going to stop there. 11, 11, because I saw 11 here as well. Let me think.
maybe 11, 11, 11 is just a sign to let you know that the, there, this is the ultimate truth. And this is something that you will have. Um, and in that case, let's continue actually with the numbers. So 11 plus 11 plus 3 uh, plus 9 plus 6 plus 7. 47. That was 46. So could that be this month, the crack this month for you guys? On the 7th of April, it is the solar eclipse, right? Season, <laughs> it's a grand time of change for you. So some of you, it's literally this month as well. Again, it could be the, the 4th of July, this one, because you do have July here as well when it comes to your wealth. Uh, maybe it's the throat chakra being opened to help you in your endeavor, also helping you as a person. And if we bring it down, 7 plus 10 is 11. And you have, oh my God. So some of you it's this month. Some of you it's in July. And some of you it's confirmed that it's going to be in 11, in November. 4 plus 7 is 11. And we did see it here and we, I wanted to stop. <laughs> so yeah, that is 11 and that is 11. So yeah time has a time for you <laughs> and that is in november looks like it's gonna be a, a pretty like significant year for you i want to say like um one of the big highlights of your life so my dear pile number one this is exactly what i see in your reading as Mess time's message to you about a wish, a transformation, and a relief. This is exactly what I see. I truly hope you've enjoyed it. And my dear pal number one, if you have, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And please do consider um, joining the memberships. You'll find the join button below this video. I've also left a link first thing in the, in the description box to make it easy for you to find. This way you become a member of the Soul Family memberships. It's honestly a great way to support me if you can and wish to do so. I will truly appreciate it. And for those of you who have chosen to support me, I want to thank you from my heart. Thank you for giving me the opportunity and the support to be able to do what I love doing for you guys, which is free readings from my heart to yours nearly every single day. Love you guys so much. Thank you for all the type of supports. It means the world to me. Love you guys and I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye! Hi, pile number two. Welcome to your reading. Your crystal is the beautiful Mukite Jasper. Uh, your card, significator card, is the perfect sandwich. And if you've picked your pile using your zodiac signs, then in that case, the signs for this pile are Aquarius, Virgo, Sagittarius, and Pisces. Welcome to your reading, guys. If these whoops, are not your zodiac signs, please do not worry about it. They are not the official zodiac signs of the pile Aquarius, Virgo, Sagittarius, and Pisces. They are just a way for others to pick their piles as well. Um, yeah, some people love to pick their piles using their intuition and others like to pick it using their zodiac signs. Okay, so today we're taking a look at a message from time to you about a wish, a transformation, and a relief. We will be uh, taking each message on its own, uh, on a row, all, all on its own to uh, see what that message is from time. These are the decks that we will be using. And of course, the main tarot deck, which you can see on the far left. Um, this will be our tarot deck for pile number two. Right, so now that we have that I was able to introduce the reading to you, let's take that it's probably for the first pile, for the first question. Let's now get into it and find out what time's message is to you about a wish. 
So you have grief and adversity. You have the pilgrim. Okay. Mm. Okay, I'll wait. I'll hold off. And you have entropy. How interesting that entropy comes after these two cards. I think I'm picking up with every card what time has to say. This is so interesting. Oh my God. And you have lizard. Okay, okay. Um, I think I understand. Let's take a look at your tarot cards. So you have ace of swords, beautiful. And look at the lizard getting into the pink. And you can see the pink here and the Ace of Swords, of course, representing the Muladhara, the um, root chakra. And you have the Nine of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, the Four of Cups, and finally, if we push this just a little bit, we'll pick up one more card, and that's the Seven of Wands. So, about a wish. First clear thing to me here is that time is talking about the passing of it, the passing of time. As you've gone through something that broke your heart, that thing that broke your heart should have been sacred with the pilgrim. Uh, I feel like it was the touching of something that was supposed to be untouchable. Like a family member betraying you or... I don't want to actually, I, I, I don't want to get into examples actually, because um, tarot should be healing and I shouldn't be opening up wounds. So I'll honor it the way the cards are showing it, touching the untouchable. And so with entropy, it looks like it was very chaotic, but entropy is like the idea of disorganized order randomness that is not really random so much so that it actually has an equation so what i feel that time is trying to show you here is that the grief that you have gone through that feels like it randomly hit something that should have never been hit may look chaotic to the naked eye but really it is within the order of the universe to help you take on the learning or match the energy that your soul wanted to pick up on. And it feels to me like it has to do with the root chakra because of all of the reds uh, in your reading. And so time wants to let you know that as soon as you either have picked it up or will pick it up, I think it, w it will pick it up because it's a message about your wish or let's see, not gonna assume yet. So as soon as that is picked up, whether in your past, present or future, you can see that it's leading to a wish fulfillment with the nine, nine of pentacles. That wish fulfillment is that of a materialistic nature, actually, with the pentacles. Look at all of the cups pouring into the four of cups. Let me reflect on that. It is a slow process. Don't rush yourself. This camouflaging and getting acquainted with the new energy 
with the grounded energy. Um, it takes time with the Knight of Pentacles, but you are making a steady progress over time. And the more you make progress, the more you'll be seeing more fulfillment pour into your cup, more wishes, I would think, since this is about wish, a wish. So more wishes fill your cup. So time is letting you know that the more you heal this and feel grounded, the more you feel grounded, the more you will see many wishes come true. Slowly but surely, you'll be surprised to see how the more you get in touch with that energy, specifically the root chakra, which seems to be what one of the things that your soul is working towards. Perhaps this is th there is so much chaos to learn the energy of grounding, the grounding through the chaos the more you will see that not just one wish, but many wishes are going to come true for you. And you can see that one of them is actually beginning for you right now with the Ace of Swords. I actually suddenly imagined the beginning of spring when I saw this Ace of Swords. And if you're watching this now, I know that spring has already begun last month. Or actually, 21st of June, like shortly. So, a couple of days ago, like half a month ago, I would say. So, it looks like you're already entering a new phase due to that grounding work you have been doing, which is allowing you to see one of these strong wishes that you have. Time wants you to know that, especially with the solar plexus, the uh, Manipura, that uh, you, it's a process where you want to continue to, I don't want to say fight it, but continue to like stand up strong against it, this energy to heal. And, and there are many things that you are overcoming at the moment. So continue to stand strong the way that you are. Because the more you stand up strong to the pains, to the maybe triggers, attacks, uh, uh, limiting beliefs or sadnesses and stand up strong. Maybe it's challenging because you're trying to learn what groundedness is. The more you will be seeing in your reality more wishes and dreams coming to fruition. So I'm so interested for you to know what this wish is. Perhaps the key is in your significator card, the sandwich, something that will taste so good, like a, something fulfilling, mm, tasty. Also something that you would think it's not the right thing to have, maybe due to a limiting belief, because that reminds me of a fast food sandwich, but this seems to have like healthier ingredients. So I'm, I'm getting uh, this idea, picking up this idea that it's something that maybe you wouldn't dare wish for before, or like you're uh, something you are attracted to or wish to have, but a part of you is like, no, 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 shouldn't have that or something like that. I feel like this is the beginning in the spring of you getting something so big, like ultimate fulfillment of something that you would love to enjoy, layered and layered and layered with experiences of many things that you would enjoy. I feel like the hand is presenting a flower kind of like um, an expression of time knowing how difficult this was, albeit necessary, but it's pr also presenting to you with a joyful, very joyful experience at the moment. 
let me try to pull out two or three tarot cards to maybe get an idea of what this enjoyable experience going to be since it's starting in the spring for you strength card empress and the nine of wands something you felt you couldn't have access to for a long time and now it is going to feel the opposite where it's going to feel super abundant in your life and it's even coming into your life in such a strong way going from an energy of not having access to it to an energy of being spoiled and uh, yeah energy of being spoiled and having so much of it the empress could be so many things hi So the Empress could be motherhood, the Empress could be luxury abundance, the uh, Empress could be love, yeah, that's what I'm seeing. So the, this type of energy is now coming in such a strong way for you uh, in your life. So in terms of time, your message of time that it has already begun for you in March. If you haven't seen the effects of it yet, you're probably asking how did it begin for me in spring when I haven't seen it. Maybe some of you have uh, already seen it. I'm also seeing numerologically three and two is a five. So if, if it didn't show up in your life and you're already like, that already showed up so cool uh, then I believe uh, I'm gonna be bold with time in this reading because it is your message about time uh, it will be showing up for you in May and so time's message to you about a wish and many wishes to come the more you ground yourself into that root chakra energy the more you will be seeing more wishes showing up into your life. Uh, time wants you to let you know to take your time because it will be, it, it may feel challenging, so don't rush it, but through consistent work, hello, <laughs> it will come true for you. One second. Okay, so I also have uh, another thing I've noticed. You know how lizards sometimes they camouflage themselves into their environment by like changing the color as per the environment they're walking into. And some other types of lizards and animals, they camouflage themselves by blending in to the right environment that matches their color, thus helping them to efficiently blend in right uh, camouflage to camouflage so i feel like time wants you to know as you're using it to heal and to ground yourself uh, uh, ground yourself the process as much as it is internal it is also external so i feel like there's a message of time letting you letting you know to use it more efficiently by trying as much as possible to blend into the right environment it will help you find grounding uh, much easier uh, it's going to be like that healing space that allows you to fully heal and be able to tackle any type of environment okay so second message that you have from time uh, is about a transformation and such a sweet message here uh, i didn't know that if we were to pick up on the energy of time that it had this energy of love to it but i'm not surprised because everything is from one source and everything is actually love okay so second message is about a transformation so right uh, off the bat you have here sad news Ooh, sorry okay so uh, i'm not surprised uh, obviously, in your pile, time is really focused on that time that you were sad. So you have another 
a message here about the sadness that you were going through. You have the aspirant. Again, that idea that you, it was key to learn, the aspirant, right? It was key to learn. Uh, time wants you to know that the difficulties you've gone through and the sadnesses that you've gone through were key for you to learn something. And I'm getting, again, numerologically, the number 15. So some, uh, sorry, five. So again, there is a huge transformation happening in your life. I believe it's the result of that wish coming true. And you have earth. Wow. Again, I'm feeling like it's something of a materialistic nature. So with the Empress, I think it's more towards something materialistic than it is love, to be honest with you. And um, it's like you getting a, a beautiful experience, but it's through something materialistic in nature. Let's find out. So that thing that's happening in May is really transforming your life or transforming an area of your life that's so important. Wow, you've got the fire ant. That instantly reminds me of work because you know the ants are known to be hard workers. They build something. They work together as a team to build something. So maybe you have a team uh, or you'll be working in a team Together, you will be building something with great passion because of fire ants. So let me just quickly grab the guidebook on fire ants. Is there something I'm not picking up? Because both of these are fire uh, elements. Fire ant. <sighs> Following orders. Fire ant energy flares up with us without us noticing. It's the force that attracts us to people and situations that feed our imbalances rather than those that encounter them. Gossiping and blaming are a few indicators that misaligned fire ant energy is at play. You may also find yourself stewing on a person or situation, only making things worse. How can you break free from the drama and cool down? Fire ants are surprisingly sensitive. Don't pretend the heat isn't getting to you. So when in balance, thoughtful, disciplined. When out of balance, argues, excess heat, gossip. To bring into balance, solo time, walks at night. Okay, so I will keep that into consideration 100% for sure. But initially, other than the message we've seen, which as promised, I will take into consideration, uh, in conjunction to each other, it feels to me like it has to do with your work. As you passionately worked super hard towards something that you will be um, like feeling satiated from. Maybe what you worked hard towards may not be for some of you work. Maybe this is talking about a personal transformation. Earth is groundedness. Oh, so the transformation here is actually talking about, okay, so back to the Empress, could it could be anything. Look, I, I, I saw it in many ways. Whatever resonates with you was meant to come out. And so please take it how it resonates with you. Like I said, it could be work and you're going to be satiated. Some of you, it's actually the emotional aspect of the Empress. And so going back to the emotional aspect, it looks like you were surrounded by people that were gossiping, were malicious, were, and maybe you got yourself into that energy, right? Absorbed into that energy and it hurt you. It caused you a lot of pain. You can see here that you are transforming your energy. You've learned a lot from what you had to go through. And the transformation is that you are finding groundedness. Your reading is all about being grounded. And that's great news that you're getting access to that energy. Because remember, time is showing you that the more you get access to that energy, the more wishes are pouring into your life. So nice to see. So let's take a look at your tarot cards. 
you have the page of swords the queen of swords wow three court cards right off the bat the knight of swords you can see people 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 uh, in this part of the reading you must have gone through um like maybe a group of bullies or a community bullying you or uh, maybe work members bully so, like some community uh bullying you here you have another ace my goodness <laughs> the ace of wands and you have the two of wands so what is that so obviously a new beginning the the wand energy here is very strong i would say this is a new beginning with the ace of wands personal strength you, the, uh, some form of personal strength is rising that is giving you great balance what is this great balance ah queen of swords is a queen known to do the right thing be strong take decisive clear strong actions uh, without it being in any way shape or form affected by emotions so i see it's a new page of strength with the page of swords uh, and strength here is like raw and real because it isn't hindered by emotions it isn't hindered by trauma it isn't hindered by fear raw force raw power coming from a place of how you want it to go knight of swords is unbelievable knight of swords is a knight that knows what its goal is knows how to get to it go straight to it nothing can stand in its way and if you try their ideas their fast thinking their uh, their strength will cut you off because nothing can stand in their way uh, knight of wands is very similar but uh, knight of swords is more like mental sharpness so time is saying that you have a new beginning of you being able to not be affected by the flares of society and community and the group of people around you because you found great groundedness in your ability to get in touch with your personal strength where no emotion will be standing in your way now uh, you found your strength and balance so a huge new beginning here it seems like you're going through this with a lot of grace my dear pile number two and i say that because i see the sandwich the sandwich reminds me of the sandwich technique with how you um start off with something pleasant you say exactly what you want and you end it with something pleasant again that sandwich technique it instantly reminds me of grace so you're not going through this like um, someone who's out there to kill, you know, hurt people's feelings. You're not matching their energy of flair. And we did see that the balance here is, as I remember, not being involved with all of this. So you've taken yourself out of this flair. You found your balance through grace, strength. Nothing can stand in your way. Found a new page of you finding your personal power not no one can stand in the way of the queen of swords unaffected by emotions uh, and um, you're doing it through a lot of grace perhaps you've picked up uh, through the experiences that you've gone through the good and the bad you were able to form the balance between the yin and the yang of being uh, an empathetic soul all while having strong force and strength to not allow any flare up to stand in your way so congratulations with that energy my dear pile number two such strong energy here in your pile and there is a huge transformation going on for you in the month of may where you're like growing into your power specifically in may and due to that transformation a wish is coming true when we saw the cards it seems like it could be something related to luxury abundance or love 
Okay, so cool. So let's see what your third message is from time. And this time it's about a relief. So you have prison. Okay, so you felt st stuck somewhere or something. Right? You have the king. Wow. Okay. Eleven. I was just calculating to a nine. Eleven. Okay. You have... Ah! Oh my god, that exact same card was in the exact same position in pile number one. What are the odds? <laughs> and so if you were drawn to pile number one, I highly recommend it. Look at this card popping out. This one. Let me actually take that. So you have the earthworm. Oh, they say early bird gets the worm, right? Very interesting. I'll keep that in mind. Uh, let's take a look at your tarot cards. So you have the queen of pentacles. The three of wands. The nine of wands. King of Pentacles, wow, two kings, oh, no, a king of Pentacles and a queen of Pentacles counterparts. And you have, I, I, I'm thinking matching energy. And you have another ace, oh my God. <laughs> You've got the ace of Pentacles. So my dear pile number two. What is your relief? It seems like you are stuck in something. Uh, it makes me feel like you feel like you have no choice. Something is, an imp is imprisoning you. With the king here and seeing the sword, I'm guessing it could be something uh, related to your thoughts. Like maybe you want to do something, but you're afraid to do it and thus feeling stuck. Or you want to do something, but you don't feel good about yourself, perhaps. And so you're not doing it. You want to start something, but you're too afraid to start. Uh, something of that nature. I feel something of that nature. But I feel with the niche and the earthworm, a very interesting message from time here. You know how they say early bird gets the worm? Means that mostly it's the early bird who get the worms and most people don't. This reminds me actually of a very interesting concept. And that is how actually most things in life, most people don't achieve because they're not aware of a specific understanding that it's only the people who do it are the people who get it. Um, and that is because most people don't get up and try to get it in the first place. Like, these are not my concept, guys. I'm just relaying what I read. Like things like, for example, most people uh, in the world, for example, don't achieve their dreams for example, this is what I've read about the concept like achieving your dreams and getting what you want. And it's only a few people who actually get to it and begin and work towards it. And so most people not going for it makes it easier for this small percent of people to achieve it. And that whole realization could be wrong. You know, the universe is abundant. In fact, everyone that works towards it will get it. But it, for now, one of the reasons they get it is that they create space, making it easier for others to get it, who get up and get it. So I feel that time has a message about your relief and it's more like it's in your hands or something. I could be wrong, but let's take it little by little as per what I'm seeing. Time wants to let you know, following the same concept, early bird gets the warm, that 
something that you want to be relieved from is actually something that maybe most people want to be relieved from. And it is those who break out of this belief and go get it will be the ones who get it due to the fact that most people are imprisoned by the same ideas. And so it looks like you don't have access to it and feel stuck when in fact with the three of wands it's so easy to embark on. Should you choose to be one of the few who decides to take it, which is something in your advantage at the moment. The Queen of Pentacles lives in the, the reality of her dreams. King of Pentacles is the pinnacle of manifestation, like someone who now has the power to manifest uh, into reality the abundance that they want. And it's glaring you in the eyes, waiting for you to see it. Should you decide to step out of it, you shall attain it. It's right there, time is saying. When you are ready to pick it up, it's yours. Because it's not about me, it's about you. Meaning it's not about time, it's about you. It's right there, glaring you in the eyes because it is those who decide to take it, do take it, based on the idea that most people don't. And it is the reason you can get it at the moment. Knowing that the universe is abundant, there will always be a reason <laughs> for you to get what you want. But that is the reason at the moment. And time is letting you know, you don't need to spend time with me being where you are, which you don't like, or being stuck there. The swords and the king of swords is that the ideas in the mind. And if you should be use that advantage to you of being one of the ones who dare to do that or begin it when everyone didn't begin, whatever that wish is, you will be... Uh, floating in abundance of enjoying that wish nearly on your own or amongst a few who have decided to get into it and pick it up rather than look behind the fence and be intimidated by it. Time is letting you know it's right there. When you're ready, pick it up. And my dear pile number two, this is exactly what I see in your reading uh, of your message from time about a wish, a transformation and a relief. I wish you all the best of luck with what's coming into your life, specifically in May. I hope this message was profound for you, uh, that it was there to help you out in your life. And if you've enjoyed your reading, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. Also, do consider joining the memberships. You will find a join button right under this video. And I've also left a link first thing in the, in the description box to make it easier for you to find. You become a member of the Soul Family memberships. Uh, you get a badge with a white feather. It changes color every month to signify how long you've stayed in the memberships. It's honestly a great way to support me. If you can and wish to do so, I would appreciate it very much. For those of you who have, I want to just let you know what a great difference it makes. I want to let you know every single day. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for supporting me and helping me to do what I like to do for you guys, which is um, nearly every single day as much as I can. Uh, tarot readings from my heart to yours. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you for all the types of support. Love you guys. <laughs> and I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye. Hi, pile number three. Welcome to your reading. Today, we're taking a look at a message that time has for you regarding a wish, a transformation, and a relief. 
can't wait to get into your reading. These are the Oracle cards that we will be using on the far right. On the left is the tarot deck that we will be using for the reading. I chose to use uh, small, smaller tarot decks today. Um, the main reason is that, okay, looks like the three for today's reading are ready. All right, we won't need this deck, I guess. Uh, so here are the three cards. Because I feel like with smaller decks, we can have a huge spread since today we're going to be doing one row for each specific message. One row for each specific message. But honestly, because I love tiny decks too. <laughs> They're so cute and so nice to use. Okay. So, these are the Oracle decks. Your crystal is, of course, the beautiful Amazonite. Your card is the Mischief card. And your zodiac signs for this pile are Aries, Gemini, Cancer, and Leo. If these are not your zodiac signs, please don't worry about it. This is just a way for others to pick their pile as well. And they are not the official zodiac signs of the pile, of course. Okay, so let's pull out uh, your cards for the first message, which is regarding a wish. You have main person. You have the warrior. Okay, what is that? Are you gonna win something? Main person makes me feel like you are the highlight. You winning something? Um, you have storm. Are you going through a difficulty or something? Let's see, too early. <laughs> you have, oh wow, the tarantula. Very cool. Uh, I'm getting this strong idea that uh, you're uh, like an, a strong opponent that is feared, like a force to be reckoned with in some situation. <laughs> the deck is split here, so let's honor that and see what your cards are. So you have the Eight of Swords. The King of Wands, wow. A lot of power in this reading. You have the Tower. What's going on here? The Five of Wands. You must be in a competition because look at the Five of Wands, of course. That's the energy that I picked up here. Okay, are you competing for something or are others competing with you? Mm, wow, you've got the Strength card. You're definitely winning. <laughs> Whatever this is, the Storm here. You're, re you're the one reaching that destination. Wow, and you've got the Two of Cups. Harmony is then achieved. Oof. And your, you know, your Significator card is Mischief. So, I would dare say you may be going through some difficulty because you have some people who are not really acting in the best way they should. But they're finding you to be a force to be reckoned with. Perhaps they thought in the beginning that uh, you were an easy catch or something. They found themselves stuck in their reflection of you because they perhaps started this war with you thinking you were an easy opponent to catch or to tie, uh, um, keep stuck. But they are like two faces here. You. One side of you is so sweet, soft, gentle, and the other side is a lion, you know, the lamb and the lion. They thought you were an easy catch, and it turns out oof, you're a lion. And, and so the people who are uh, at this point trying to take something from you, bully you, uh, compete with you, they, the people who were trying to wreak havoc, again, the lion, they're realizing that you've transformed into your strong self. And so they're realizing that um, you looked one way, but you're actually another. And so main person is like, you are the highlight now. And also the parrot means that there is a lot of talk about you. 
a lot of talk about you and what you're doing. So first of all, if you're going through uh, a difficult situation with people who are like not nice, I'm very sorry about that, but I feel I I'm only guessing as I'm saying that you're saying, don't worry about it, I'm not, <laughs> uh, I I'm not uh, like, uh, they can't do anything to me. But also your wish could be harmony with the two of cups. So it's not like about them, it's really about you wanting harmony in this situation. You are maybe tired of the silliness, they're wreaking havoc somehow, um, competing against you, competing with you. But the uh, you, strength here, you're gonna win over this difficulty and they will realize you're not an easy catch at all, thus leaving you alone completely. And uh, time is letting you know that this is a time of harmony. When is this going to happen? I will do what I've done in pile number one, and that is to add up the numbers. Hold on, let me get the calculator. Okay, so you have the Eight of Swords plus King of Wands is 14, plus the tower is 16, plus five of wands, plus strength is eight, and the two of cups, that is, so eight, 14, 16, five, eight, and two. So that is 53. That could be the 3rd of May, also, if we add them up numerologically, that is eight. So it could be something around the be the beginning of May, and it could be in August, something in August where you're ending this uh, terrible, what seems like a war or a competition uh, with someone. I feel like you don't want to be in this, but you're uh, proving to be a very strong opponent. You're going to win over this and they're going to realize, oh gosh, this person turned out to be stronger than we thought and there's harmony, they're going to leave you alone. It may not be people, you know, it could be like a legal situation, it could be like uh, someone or some organization or something uh, thinking um, it was easy to take something from you, victimize you, but you're not a victim my dear pile number three. So time wants you to know that this is coming into harmony either in May or in August. Okay, so that is regarding a wish. Something is bothering you here and you're, you, you're turning out to be not an easy opponent at all. In fact, whoever or whatever is against you is finding you to be like scary at this point okay so second message you have of time is about a transformation so let's find out what that is you have his thoughts and you can see someone looking at their own reflection you can see a penguin here as well what are the odds what is a penguin doing here <laughs> you have the weaver. Oh, your thoughts are weaving something. Let's see. Meadow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. You have... Wow. Peacock. Are you forming yourself, shaping yourself? Shift... Shape... Shifting yourself? Whoa, that could... Are you transforming, like physically? It could be because it's looking at the reflection. So you're either changing physically or changing um, like your character, maybe rebranding yourself. <laughs> let's see. Uh, let's pick up your tarot cards. Wow, Knight of Cups. More approachable or you are approaching someone or becoming more desirable. Wow, three of cups. I feel like you're becoming more desirable uh, to like people and a special one or something. 
Knight of Pentacles into your work. Let's see, or you've mastered this. Queen of Swords. Two of Wands. And, and the Ace of Cups. Like, I uh, feel like you're healing your heart through this transformation. And you are shining bright. Your beauty is showing. Your, your, I would say your beauty is showing. And I would say it's showing inside and outside. So you're going through a personal transformation. Uh, I feel like you've worked a lot on yourself. In great detail. I want to look like that. I want to present myself like that. I want to be able to do that. I want to have that skill. Definitely someone who's constantly working on themselves. And I see that there's a huge transformation in how you look to the outside world, inside and outside, also mentally and in terms of your character as well. So much so that you are very desirable. You're transforming into a person who's attracting a lot of attention, especially the attention of people who are interested in you romantically and people who want to become friends with you because you're so positive, you're so good looking, you seem to be a hard working and honest, straightforward person. And your hard work on yourself uh, shows, it shows you've mastered like things like personal habits, personal care, um, disciplining yourself into uh, like thinking more maybe positively or healing yourself. And it shows, it, sh it really shows. And so you, uh, the fabric of your being is truly changing and it's shining bright, becoming so desirable first to you and to others. And you know, the two of wands is like vision, changing vision. You're changing vision and how people see you, how you see yourself is affecting and your work on yourself and everything is affecting how people see you. And so you can see you were um, very successful in healing your heart chakra. Bravo, pile number two. And so with mischief being your significator card, I would say that in the second message, you're becoming more playful, you know, tongue in cheek, uh, which is like uh, fun to be with. Uh, I feel like you are not so serious. You have confidence to... Uh, portray yourself in the way that is like being comfortable in your own skin and portray yourself in the way you wish to uh, unapologetically. And so you're serious when you want to be serious. You're playful when you want to be playful, uh, all while looking beautiful or handsome and gracious. So you're really shining bright in this stage of your life. I really have a feeling that this is a message from time about something you can expect right now since you have the Ace of Cups. Like this is starting now for you. And if we want to be super specific with time, which I'm having the boldness to do in this reading, <laughs> since this is a message about time, 16 here could signify maybe the 16th of the month that you're watching this in, you will notice something significant maybe around your energy or around this message. It's like a wink from time almost to show you, uh, yeah, wink. I believe it's going to be a wink from time on the 16th to show you something about yourself, to show you that, yes, uh, it's uh, time uh, did really say that to you. Okay, so that's the second message you have from time. Now let's take a look at the third one, which is about a relief. So you have living room, which instantly reminds me of comfort. Right. 
okay but I will be open-minded to see what it means this is sliding out let's take it the assassin okay <laughs> right mm. okay wait wait you have metamorphosis which is kind of what I got here but said wait but again let's wait Let, uh, oh oh but how is this a relief let's wait well whale is something huge also I can't remember what uh, like uh, I was watching an information video about whales I can't remember that interesting fact that I picked up oh, I'll, um, it might come now you have the nine of swords and the ace of wands another ace another new beginning happening now for you the moon also you know 16 if numerologically goes down is seven so you might also see something either on the 7th or the 16th. Sorry about that. Okay, so you have the Hierophant. Wow, 10 of Cups. That's a, like a drastic change there. <laughs> drastic change up. That you do not see coming. Because something is stressing you at the moment. <gasps> Perhaps that ending or maybe or something. Wow, and you've got the Queen of Pentacles. So what is this about? What is this about? I, I, I do see that you are going through... Ah, you're going through something that is really stressing you at the moment. And you can see that slowly the stress is changing. It might look on the outside as something terrible. But, as you can see in your cards now, there is the end of something comfortable with the living room and that's bringing a lot of distress to you like why is this happening to me and that's brutal please oh please don't make this happen to me please don't make this happen to me so you're going through that process of transformation at the moment uh, 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 i um I was going to get to that, but you're going through the proce that process at the moment, that metamorphosis process. And metamorphosis really teaches us, that's why it's used a lot in spirituality. It teaches uh, us a lot about how things change to the better. Some things change as they grow, like plants. And some things need, need to be totally brought down to nothing for it to rise into something else and change forms into something else. So I'm seeing here that what you're stressed over at the moment, time says, is just a matter of me. <laughs> it's just a matter of time. It might be uncomfortable because all you can see at the moment is maybe changes that are so unpleasant. And what seems like a downward ending or something with the assassin in the living room to something so comfortable to you. Not knowing that it's only coming down for it to transform shape and turn into something else. It's not like it's going to go down and you're going to be lost and try to go find a solution or something. It's more like that very same thing that is now going down is only transforming to flip into another form and set you free. Leading to a new beginning now for you. And so...
I'm feeling with the whale catch me if I fall. In fact, it reminds me of Michael Jackson's whale song. Will you be there? If, if, if specifically that part about, but they told me a man should be faithful and walk when not able and fight till the end when I'm only human. So I feel like you're really going through it at the moment and you're really stressed and you're feeling like, will you leave me? Will you be there? Will the universe be there? Are, are you, are you going to leave this end or go down? And I feel like your answer is no. We're picking you up. That's not going to happen to you. In fact, it's transforming. It's actually transforming. You may not be seeing it at the moment. But you will actually be seeing it. And I feel like Ace of Wands, the, the beginning is near. Seeing the Ace of Wands in conjunction to the moon, this is talking about its beginning, but the moon is kind of like uh, you won't be let in on exactly when that new beginning is, but it's already begin begun. It has already begun. You maybe are too in the fields to see it or not meant to see it yet. But do know that the only way for you is up. You are going to be very happy and very um, fulfilled with the Queen of Pentacles. Like you will be enjoying the manifestation of that huge transformation. And you're going to be so happy with it. Just trust the process. Trust the transformation. We got you. Mm. Time says you're not going to be dropped. And it, that transformation has already begun. Although you do not see it, it has already begun. With the Hierophant, trust that spiritual process of transformation. It's like plunging into the water, which will naturally bring you to the surface, floating up. So trust that process of going down to go up. So yeah, you're going to be very fulfilled at the end, feeling like um, you're living in the realm of what you've envisioned for yourself one day. Um, just trust the process. It has already begun. When exactly? You're not meant. It's not meant to be revealed for you all in due time. But you are, believe it or not, although it looks down, you are already in the process of getting up. The example I can think of with that is like how you know how when you're organizing something so complicated, and it it only looked better because someone had put all of put them all in a corner. Now you have created an even much like a larger mess because you're categorizing them. And so at face value, it looks like it is a complete mess when it's actually already in the process of being beautifully organized because that's the most important step. Categorize the categorizing them so that you can put them into a, a home and everything's going to look pretty very easily, very quickly from that process onwards after the categorization is finished. So I feel like although it's looking down, it is really actually going up for you. Okay, so to make it easy for you, because it seems like you are uh, at uh, a phase where it's very uncomfortable, what I can at least do in terms of time, not ask specific date in this specific, in this question with relief but ask at which phase are you in right let's ask that at which phase are you currently in wow <laughs> nine of cups so nice to see page of cups you are at a very new beginning and the six of swords you're slowly now the the hard part has ended and you're now in the transition mode towards the positive part of that process and you actually, you know, I'm not surprised because we did see it right there. 
the difficult part has ended and the transformation to the good side because six of swords is moving from tumultuous waters to calmer waters has already began begun and so you're moving now towards the more positive side and the more positive experience where you start seeing things are actually starting to get better and starting to build up starting to form starting to make sense day by day you will see uh, a process of improvement and things getting better for you more relaxed less stressful because you're going to start making sense out of what's going on and day by day you're going to start seeing positive improvements from now onwards and so here it seems like it's going to happen seamlessly almost if you look back in retrospect and someone asks you so what was the date when everything changed you're gonna say there wasn't actually a specific date but i can give you a time frame of the time when things started improving and so time wants to let you know that it's not about a specific time date but you are in that phase where things are now starting to ascend after it was descending, ending. Now it's starting to move up slowly and surely until you find yourself not in that difficult reality anymore, but rather in a place that you absolutely love. That place of great manifestation. Also, by the way, the queens are healers. So things are healing. They are picking up now in your life. So nice to see. <laughs> and again, that's why you have mischief, you know? It's like this tricky energy. You're seeing one thing when in reality, things are actually going in a different direction. You're, looking, you're seeing it go down, but it's actually going up. So it's kind of like fooling you a little bit but it's far from the truth of what's happening and transforming for you. And my dear pile number three, this is exactly what I see in your reading. I truly hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel so that you never miss a reading that I upload. And please do consider uh, joining the memberships. You will find a join button right under this video. I've also left a link first thing in the description box to make it easy for you to find right away. Um, it is a great way to support me, guys, if you can and wish to do so. For those of you who have uh, decided to, to, to become a member and support me, I want to thank you from my heart and let you know that it does make a big difference. Thank you for helping me be able to do what I wish to do for you guys every day, which is free readings from my heart to yours nearly every single day. And my dear pile number three, I wish you the best of luck with this huge transformation uh, of movement upwards. I wish you the best of luck on how your trans your personal journey of transformation and uh, your you showing your personal strength and finding harmony in that uh, difficult situation in your life. All the best of luck sending sending you so much love. <laughs> and my dear pile number 3, I'll catch you in the next reading. Bye.